Uh, I'm going to use a couple of terms that Republicans won't because they don't quote George W. Bush. You might say compassionate conservative. They never quote George H. W. Bush. You might say we need a kinder, gentler America. But if you listen to Republicans these days, uh, Rand Paul will speak to the Urban League today to talk about working in inner cities on education and other problems. I want you to listen here. Paul Ryan laying out an anti-poverty agenda yesterday. Paul Ryan, the House Budget Committee chairman. Remember, he was Mitt Romney's vice presidential nominee. He says take all the money the federal, or most of the money the federal government spends on anti-poverty programs, give it to the states. Let governors and mayors deal with the problem. We want a healthy economy. And a big part of that is having a safety net that is strong, both for those who cannot help themselves and for those who need just a helping hand to get up and going in life. That's talking about block grants on poverty. Uh, let's continue the conversation. Chris Christie out in Aspen last night talking about Republicans need to realize that, yes, you can be tough on crime, but for people who commit drug offenses, especially if they're young, especially if it's a first offense, especially if it's clearly addiction and they might be able to get treatment and be rehabilitated, Chris Christie says, think again about just locking them up and throwing away the key. I'm pro-life. And if you're pro-life, you have to be pro-life when they get out of the womb also. If we are a party that believes that every life is precious and no, no one should be deprived of a second chance, well, then we need to get on that issue. On the sentencing part, there does seem to be, you have Rand Paul making the same case, Chris Christie, uh, Eric Holder, the Attorney General. Yeah. Uh, they don't, you, don't see, you don't say Rand Paul, Chris Christie, and Eric Holder in the same sentence that often. There seems to be an emerging consensus on that issue. Uh, can we have a serious conversation about anti-poverty programs? Well, it looks like that's something that we're in the middle of. You had Paul Ryan, of course, uh, lay out this plan that was very different from the plans that he laid out before, pretty much deficit uh, neutral. And I mean, in this language, uh, in talking about the safety net, uh, very different from some of the things that we, we've heard before, where, yeah. we, you know, where Democrats were able to uh, sort of caricature a Republican as, as not caring right. about the poor. I, I thought, <coughs> excuse me, uh, I thought uh, this was a pretty thoughtful plan uh, yeah. for, for Paul Ryan to, to come out with. And to your point, it is revenue neutral. Right. Um, Democrats, though, if there has been criticism of it, it seems to be built around the fact that the messenger might not be credible. Right. This is the guy who wanted to sort of cut Medicare uh, and Medicaid and other parts of the social safety net. Uh, but Paul Ryan has been careful to stress that this isn't about cutting these programs. It's right. about restructuring them and sort of, you know, thinking about caseworkers and person-to-person -person right. contact when you in, talk about poverty. In divided government, you have to cut deals. So at least if they start the conversation, maybe, maybe at least a little bit of consensus. I'm skeptical. Nothing gets done in this town right now, but we'll see. 